But you don't need to do that, because <laughs> motorcycles are sometimes life and death. Hello, internet friends. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan Stark. If you've been around for a little while, Welcome back. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, Curtis Connors videos? He does this like very cute extra reading thing and I feel like I just did that. Cause like, welcome back man. So today I wanted to talk a little about group riding. Now, I'm no big group riding professional. So I'm just gonna tell you my personal testimonial and then you guys can feel free to sound off in the comments. I mostly wanted to talk about group riding and beginners and the question is, should beginners ride with people? You know, when do you make those those decisions about about riding in a group and how big of a group? So, oh God, <laughs> we're already having mount situations, aren't we? To be honest, my mount is like held together by rubber bands right now because something is about to splinter off and won't stay <laughs> secure. It's that like clamp that holds down the, the box of the, the GoPro mount. So, uh, Hopefully this all <laughs> goes according to plan. But anywho, group riding. So I remember, it feels like forever ago, even though it kind of wasn't. Oh, don't do it. Just be careful, be patient. It feels like forever ago, but, oh my God, please. <laughs> it's not even rush hour, it's like 3 p.m. Okay, I guess it's like four, as I was saying. <laughs> Motive vlogs are like regular vlogs, but with chaos. It feels like forever ago and I'm I'm very my little brain I I empty the cache a lot. I seem to not remember things in my own personal experience, but I remember a lot of useless information uh, about movies and TV shows and music. That kind of media can really stick in my head, but personal life things, what are those? So, thinking back on when I first got out on the street because I used to ride dirt bikes as a kid and then just Big, big gap didn't really didn't really hop on a bike again until after college I guess I rode maybe one or two times during high school on dirt bikes I got my license for the road in like 2016 I've been riding ever since so when I first got my license I had already bought my bike and I went on a little blip with a friend and I found it very stressful to have to keep pace with somebody I think the day after I got my license, I was out in like rush hour traffic with a friend who rides aggressively. And speaking of aggressive, it was yellow. <laughs> and that kind of stuff, I would really discourage new riders from doing. I guess you don't know how your friend rides till you know, but I think you can kind of guess <laughs> based on personalities, who's going to be a little bit more considerate of your uh, beginner stature and who is gonna kind of just like ride however I think even some people they're just speed demons and even if they think they're slowing down for you or at least not being so aggressive they <laughs> might still just not quite be someone you want to ride with and another thing about riding at least in pairs is that it's easy to get cut off by cars and that can be kind of stressful so for me I like to leave enough room and, and I still do especially when I'm riding by myself and behind cars, leave enough room for some, some solid reaction time. But if you're in a pair of two and you leave a little too much space, cars will often just zip right in. And it can just kind of be just one more extra stressor on an already maybe slightly anxious rider. If you want to ride in pairs and you're like very beginner, this is like first season kind of stuff, I'd say have a conversation with your friend. Try not to do any ego battles because I feel like depending on who you are, you might be kind of trying to prove something and be like, yeah, I can keep up with you, it's fine. But you don't need to do that because <laughs> motorcycles are sometimes life and death. And there's always that uh, factor <laughs> at play. So don't try to keep up if you don't want to. You also have to be kind of persistent in your own boundaries when it comes to riding. If someone's gonna blow through a yellow and you're not gonna make it, don't sweat it. Most people are totally fine with you just waiting at the light, they'll wait on the other side, pull over, no big deal. So don't try to keep up with people because that's that's when accidents happen. Obviously don't, don't go like under a speed limit and lag behind, 
but just kind of focus on the ride and not focus on what everyone else is doing if they're a distraction. If you're in a twosome, make sure they're driving like a grandma or like you're their child. Otherwise, uh, ride by yourself. Sometimes you even just have off days. I know if I'm decompressing after a long day at the office, I find it way more therapeutic to go on a ride by myself. I'm doing my own thing, keeping my own pace. I don't have to, to consider anybody else and, and how they want to ride because certain times of day the traffic is whack and I just would rather be more careful. So I'm often in a different headspace after maybe coding all day long than the headspace I need to be in. So a little bit of transition never hurt anybody. I think it's no good if you're like rushing to meet with people in your group riding and if you just feel rushed and anxious it's going to be a, a bad vibe so oftentimes it only takes a couple of moments for you to collect yourself and get back to where you need to be that's my two cents on riding two up it's usually pretty painless if you've got someone who's going to uh make sure that you're not rushed or or like you have to ride more aggressively because it's not always a speed thing sometimes it's a dodging between cars or lane splitting if that's legal where you are some of this stuff is just like a little bit too much for a really new rider so I'd, I'd make sure that you've got either someone maybe of a similar <laughs> riding experience I guess I don't know if I've ever ridden I never rode with a beginner while I was a beginner but at least maybe you two can uh, stagger and keep your distance but it's ideal probably to be with an experienced rider who's a considerate rider or just be riding by yourself that's two up but um riding in groups is a totally different story so depending on the group size honestly my kind of sweet spot for a group ride is honestly closer to like i don't know like maximum five people i don't really like riding in groups more than five people because that is when it's kind of just like a lot of things either the group is really careful and they're going super slow and it can be kind of boring. I mean, if you like to cruise, that's super chill. <laughs> sometimes I like to cruise and sometimes I don't really want to cruise. I know from my videos, it seems like I'm always cruising, but I motovlogging is a distraction in itself. It's like group riding with my own brain. Riding in a larger group can be a grab bag. I've had experiences when it was a huge group and we just rode really aggressively the whole time. We were just like peeling out of everything. 80 miles per hour whenever possible and often um, having someone blocking lights and stuff and and it was just go 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 so that that can actually be more safe than a huge group that doesn't block because then it's a mess and everyone's divided up and it's just a little whack group rides can also be kind of dangerous it can be kind of hazardous and a lot to grapple with as a real super fresh newbie if you're in like your first month or so of riding, I don't think you should be riding in a in a big group. That's just me. You guys can say whatever you want in the comments below. <laughs> but that's just how I see it. Better safe than sorry. And then just build up a little bit of a little bit of etiquette. And actually I want to do a video in the future on group riding etiquette. Again, I'm not really a pro pro at that. Well, not that I don't know how to do group riding etiquette, but I just I think I've done fewer than like five really big group rides it's just not really my speed typically maybe i'll bring someone on or get a little bit of extra input on it nice that person's waiting for me they really didn't have to oh puppy you can definitely group ride in your in your first season on the street i believe in you but it's another one of those things where you just kind of check in on how you feel if you feel really anxious about it and can't deal with the concept of maybe someone passing you and all the kind of the, the delicate dance involved in a group ride. If you don't know the rules of having like a, a sweeper or a blocker and all that, uh, it might be just one too many things, but you'll, you'll want to do it eventually if you want to do it. It's something that that can be kind of complicated. And obviously when, when things go wrong in a group, they can go extra wrong. So just some stuff to consider. And a lot of it is just being able to keep pace with other group riders, being a little bit more intuitive and being pretty vigilant. You don't want to zone out too much if you're going to a uh, group ride. You got to be pretty alert. I mean, you don't want to zone out if you're riding anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It's a really nice day. It's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun was out earlier. It is not anymore. And I'm around the Summerfest grounds. I'm on this like kind of interesting little wharf. Wharf? Wharf. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? Wharf? Wharf. Wharf. Anywho. <laughs> and I can see like the amphitheater. 
uh, where they'll do really big bands and then there's like a little lighthouse over here oh someone else has their bike and sometimes people go fishing over here I don't know how good the fishing is but it's a cool little vibe and I can't I can't believe I haven't really showed you guys this before. I didn't know I was coming here until I came here, so <laughs> that's where the vlog took me. That's the beauty of riding by yourself instead of riding with people as well, is you can go wherever you want, whenever you want, and do whatever you want. You can pull over when you need to. Riding on your terms is definitely essential when you first get started. Just to kind of vibe out on your style too, and especially if you're still getting used to the mechanics of the bike, let yourself have that time there's you got all the time in the world to go to fun little group rides it's kind of special just you and the bike so i definitely encourage it i know depending on who you are you might be in the comments being like i, I ride solo all the time this is not a big deal and i'm with you buddy <laughs> but there's plenty of people who almost exclusively try to ride with a buddy. Everyone's got a different vibe. And especially if you're just doing it for pleasure riding and you're not like a commuter or you just don't really like going on really big grand adventures by yourself. I know like I haven't yet planned <laughs> to go on a big solo long distance trip. That's something that I might consider in the future, but it's not something I do right now. So. I don't know what's all these qual, qual why I'm doing all this qualification, but I'm just trying to like anticipate some of the response. Wow, it is gorgeous. I think um, I'll show you what it looks like in front of me because it's pretty cool. And my uh, GoPro didn't snap off yet. So how do you guys feel about group riding? Is it your vibe? Is it not your vibe? Would you rather ride alone? I think um, running two up is pretty fun, but most of the time, if it's just around town and stuff, I'd much rather ride by myself. I can <laughs> set my own pace and do whatever I want and, and not have to kind of coordinate timing lights with somebody else or keeping pace with them. If I'm trying to cruise through an area and they're trying to speed or I'm trying to do the opposite, trying to like feel how that feels <laughs> so uh, I think that's just kind of how I am with most things but obviously it can be so special riding with people and it's especially fun if you're gonna like go grab food so uh, you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about group riding and all the things that come with it and we can talk more I think I'll, yeah like I said I'll do an etiquette video and hopefully we have some more moto vloggable days in the future but otherwise uh, you'll be getting some fun essays and sit down videos and that kind of stuff during the off season and maybe even some travel videos some responsible travel videos <laughs> thank you so much for watching until next time ride safe I need a, I need a